Hi everyone and welcome to ideabag.net. Today I'm going to show you how to create different menus for different pages on WordPress. To do this I'm going to use as an example this website novideagroup.com. As you can see I have two tabs open, one containing the home page of the website and the other one containing the about us page of the website. Now if you visit this website as an end user you will probably not notice any difference between these menus. Both of them seem to be identical, having the same buttons. But in fact, these are two different menus, each one doing different things. In the next few minutes I'm gonna show you how I created these menus and how you can do it step by step. To create different menus for different pages, you don't need any special plugins or coding skills. All you need to do is to go to the dashboard of your website and access the appearance menus. As you probably already know, this is the place where you can create new menus or edit the existing ones. I already created two menus, the home page menu, which will be used for the home page of the website, and the general menu, which will be used on all other pages of the website except the home page. Now, for a better understanding of this example, let me show you how these menus are supposed to work. We are on the home page of the website. Now, you will notice that if I press the services button, the screen, it will, the screen will automatically jump to this section. It will not load a new page, it will just jump to another section of the page. This is called one page menu. If you don't know what this is or how to create one, please check the description of this video and you will find a link to an article explaining this for you. Now returning to our problem, you will notice that the same things happens for the portfolio button or the pricing button. Now assuming we would have the same menu on this page, the about us page, it would mean that if I press the services button or the portfolio or the pricing, the page should scroll down to the section dedicated to services or portfolio or pricing. But if we scroll down, you will notice that this page doesn't have these kind of sections. So obviously we need a different menu to take us back to the services section, which are on the home page of the website. So as you can see, if I pressed the services button, I am on the home page, not on the about us page. Now, let me show you what's different for these two menus. In the home page menu, we have the same buttons as we do for the general menu. Now, the difference is that in the custom link for the URL, we have this anchor services portfolio and prices. Now, if we check the same buttons in the general menu, you will notice that there is a slight difference for the URL. The URL is now the home page and only after that we have the anchor. The same for portfolio and for pricing. So for the home page menu, the services button will jump to the services anchor, while for the general menu, the services button will load the home page and only after that it will jump to the services anchor. Now once we created these menus and set correctly the buttons and their functionality, Let's see how we add them to each page. For this, we go to the Manage Locations tab. Here, I set the general menu as the main header menu, and then I added the conditional menu, obviously the home page. For this one, I set one condition, and as you might have guessed, the condition is that the menu should be displayed only on the home page. As you can see here, there are a lot of options. So this is a very powerful WordPress feature. 
and as I said in the beginning of this tutorial you don't need any special plugins or coding skills just search in all these tabs and I'm sure you will find the option that best applies to your scenario once you've done this go to the save button and you are done now you can check on your web page if the menus you created are doing what they are supposed to do thank you for watching this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe to our channel see you next time bye